WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Billy Ray Valentine, a.k.a. Larry Pesavento. I wish I were as smart as old Billy Ray and got into the movie business. I think I'd be a great star. I could have been another Brad Pitt or Al Pacino or somebody like that. Yeah, right. And the two horses that are riding over the sunset are the Chance Brothers, Slim and None. Anyway, folks, we're taking a look at a cover of the book from uh, William Garrett, The Prophet structure of the stock market and i'll tell you the story about this when we come up with the next move but well, we got the stock markets up on a friday in a up week with a lot of volatility there's not a short seller out there to be fine today folks with three hours to go in the trading this is my opinion of course and my opinion is worth the cost of two shares of the brooklyn bridge that you can get relative actually those shares are worth a lot of money because there's not many of them left and they are collector's items. So when you say two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge, you're talking about some serious money. I used to collect old stock certificates. I still have a bunch of them. The ones I collected were the ones that went tapioca back in the 30s, uh, uh, mainly uh, uh, American Telephone and Telegraph. And, oh, there were there were a bunch of them in there that uh, you'd be really surprised that uh, actually American Telephone went bankrupt twice. Let's get back to the markets here. Uh, bond markets made a new high last night uh, up at a major number that we were looking at up at that 116. They sold off a little bit, not too much as of yet. The interesting part is we hit 1999 again in the gold. We've sold off about $16 from that size, uh, that section. But we're paying very close attention to the euro here, folks, because the euro, i.e. the dollar index, is going to be the key to this gold market. And if the euro starts to increase, that means a dollar weakening, then you've got a really good chance for that gold to go higher. If not, then you're looking at possible sell-off in the gold because the high that we made this week in gold was an exact 786-1209 to the high we made way back when at 2089. So that's a really important number that we're looking at. Silver's been up $2 an ounce this week. Fortunately, we had a buy down there. Didn't get the whole two dollars. We got a nice little piece of it, and so that made it a good week. In fact, it's been a very good week here at TFNN. So we're going to take a little break now. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. 